You know, people keep asking me in your 2014 graduation speech, can you please make some references to the movie Frozen? To which I say, no, I'm not doing that. It's childish. And they'd be like, come on, please. And I would say, let it go. Just let it go. Hello. Attention class of 2014, I'm Josh Shipp. It's good to see you. And first of all, let me say congratulations. Can we just take a moment? Everybody congratulate these folks. Everybody, come on, join with me now. There it is. Listen, your mother and I are very proud of you. You've made it through 13 years of school. Some of you made it through 16 years of school. I like the color. Now, as a motivational speaker who seeks to inspire, please lean in for a little dose of inspiration. It's only going to get more difficult from here. Some of you are thinking, wow, bravo, motivator boy, real uplifting. Yeah, you're really great at your job. You need to, you need to be more positive. What's wrong with you? All right, fine. I'll take your advice. I'll be more positive. <clears throat> I'm positive it's only going to get more difficult from here. Now, now, wipe away those tears. I know a lot of you, let's be honest, uh, when you're faced with a difficult task, like the idea of going off to college or getting a job or whatever your particular next chapter is, you can get overwhelmed about the difficult task in front of you, and then your mind, which is normally your friend, begins to lie to you and says that you don't have what it takes. And some of you, even now, as you're sitting here watching me, you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna graduate, and that's really exciting, but this next chapter, I, I don't know if I can cut it. I don't know if I have what it takes. I don't really have very high self-esteem. What? You don't have high self-esteem? No, actually what you don't have is an accurate definition of what self-esteem actually is. You see, a lot of people wrongly think that self-esteem is something that's given to only a few select Hollywood types or that self-esteem is something bestowed upon people with Olympic level athleticism. I'm not talking about the luge. No offense to my home country of Finland. You know, some of you think that self-esteem is a gift or an inheritance that's only bestowed to the tall, dark, and handsome. But what if you're like me? I mean, get a good look at me. Seriously. What if you're like me? Short, pale, freckly, hmm? What about then? Do I get left out in the cold? I don't care. Cold never bothered me anyway. The answer, of course, is no. Self-esteem is not a gift or an inheritance. It's not something that you're born with or born into. So, how does one get said self-esteem? It is a two-step process, and unfortunately, both steps are ridiculously difficult. Step number one is this. Self-esteem starts when you realize that there's something inside of you, yes you, that's worth esteeming. You see, to esteem someone means to call something out in them that is unique and special. I have a friend who became a writer all because his eighth grade teacher wrote six simple words at the top of one of his writing assignments. At the top of the page in blue ink, she wrote these six words. You have quite a way with words. I like the color. Forgive me, I'm no math teacher, but those seven words, seven words made the difference in the equation of his life. <laughs> Yeah, I'm proud of that one too. <clears throat> Moving on. When I was young, I had a teacher who noticed that I was a class clown, but also noticed that I had the power to make people think. She suggested that I should use that power, that skill for good. And thanks to Mrs. Wilhite, that's why I do what I do now. Some of you have a myriad of voices who are calling out something in you that is special, and some of you, you don't even have one single voice in your life that's doing that. You see, you, you need to take responsibility for this. You need to take an honest assessment of everything you have going for you. And you know, you might not necessarily be able to do this alone. You might need some help from a trusted uh, friend or a coach or a mentor or your parents or your favorite teacher. Because of the fact of the matter is this, 
You have something inside of you that makes you esteemable. Whether or not you believe it right now, whether or not you've ever been told it prior to now. It might be a talent or a gift or a skill or s some sort of native proficiency that you have at a particular thing or a personality type that makes you really, really interesting. And don't believe otherwise. Don't believe the lies. Don't believe the voices that tell you that you don't have those things. You are wickedly talented. No matter what John Travolta says, you're just as wickedly talented as Adil Dazeem. Step two, self-esteem is earned by facing difficult things. You see, to call it self-esteem isn't really accurate. It's more actually like step esteem, meaning you take a step towards something that is A, good for you, and B, intimidates you, and that is where self-esteem is earned. It isn't given, it is earned by taking those difficult steps. You see, self-esteem comes from attempting things that are good for you and that are difficult for you. It doesn't really even matter if you succeed at the difficult thing. Let's say you're gonna run a marathon, 26.2 miles, but you only run 23 miles of the marathon. Who cares? You still ran 23 miles more than people just sitting over there thinking, hmm, that looks interesting. You probably ran hundreds of miles during the training. So, you know, succeed or fail, you didn't fail because at least you gave an earnest effort. You see, self-esteem is only increased by taking steps through adversity. So class of 2014, Attempt something difficult. Do something difficult, even though it scares you, because it scares everyone. And everyone who says it doesn't scare them, they're a liar. I mean, ask yourself, when is the last time that I did something that was good for me, but also scary? You know, when you came away from it thinking, that was a scary rush, but I know that I did a good thing. You know, where when you tried something, you sort of came away from it saying, I don't know if I'm elated or gassy, but I'm somewhere in that zone. Class of 2014, on behalf of all of us, you need to be elated and gassy. We need that from you. You're about to graduate and you are genuinely esteemable. So go on, face the difficult stuff. Don't wimp out, have courage. I'm counting on you to be awesome and so is the rest of the world. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you wanna build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman. Congratulations, class of 2014. Peace out. Look at your neighbor and say, that man is talking to me. Look at your neighbor and say, that guy is saying stuff. Turn to your neighbor and say, that guy is asking me to say stuff to you I don't wanna to say to you. Okay, bye.